Hey guys! It's Tori M. Fricky here. From my homeschool to your homeschool, I get it. Sometimes you are tired. I know because sometimes I am tired. As a homeschool mom, we are doing so many things and sometimes, well, the days don't go as planned. The baby doesn't sleep through the night. We don't sleep through the night. The teenagers are coming home late, whatever it is, and we are exhausted. We've had kids yelling or running or it's just not been a good day. And we realize we've got to do some science. Whether you're trying to hit all of those earmarks every week for uh, your curriculum or your report that you need to do, or you just realize that you'd like to shake it up a little bit and you've got to fit some science in, but you are too tired to get out all of the equipment and doing a science experiment and like, ah! okay, just the thought of it when I'm tired is way, way too much for me. Which is why I'm going to show you a resource that I use on the days when I'm so tired that science is not an option. It is called Magic School Bus. Oh yes. So these were books, they were turned into movies and they are on DVD and you can buy the complete set. You guys, this is a lot of science. Now for some of us, we grew up with Magic School Bus, right? And we know all about this, but for those of you who didn't, let me tell you a little bit about what makes Magic School Bus so amazing. So the idea is that there's this crazy teacher called Ms. Frizzle and the kids in the class, whenever they have a science question or something that they're learning about, rather than sit in class, she takes them, she puts them on the magic school bus, which can shrink or grow humongous or can sprout wings or can go in the ocean or can fly in outer space, whatever. And the bus takes these kids on adventures so that they are embedded into whatever science topic it is that she wants them to learn about. <gasps> it's so much fun. Every episode ran on PBS, so it's like a 30 minute, well, it's probably like a 25 minute episode. Perfect amount of time. I used these when I was too tired for science. I was also using them for a long time when we ate lunch. I would just put in the DVD, we'd watch it while we ate lunch. It was an easy way to slide science into the day. They were learning so many things. And what I love about Magic School Bus is except for the the solar system one, which was made before Pluto was declassified as a planet, uh, every bit of the science is really strong science. They're going to be talking about photosynthesis. They're going to be talking about molecules. They're going to be talking about the physics of simple machines. They're going to be talking about uh, the in the geography of volcanoes and the different parts of the Earth. It covers the gamut of elementary science. And every disc, so if you if I open this up, you'll see that there are one, two, three, four, four oh, ha, ha, there's numbers at the bottom. There are eight discs in the complete set. Eight discs, and every disc has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven episodes. So eight times seven is a lot of episodes, right? Fifty-six. That's like an entire year of science. Plus some. Oh, I love it. But what we would do is when the kids were sick or we were tired, uh, we would watch when we were tired, but if the kids were sick, sometimes they would watch several in a row because during the day I'd say, well, if you're sick, you need to watch something educational. And so they would pull out Magic School Bus. My teenagers still pull out Magic School Bus because it's that much fun. It's fun. It's engaging. They've got lots of characters. Uh, it's, I just, I love the fact that they can be watching something, they can be learning the science, and then we can follow up with that with more knowledge, with maybe if we want to do some kind of experiment later on. I'm not saying you have to, but if you wanted to. There are uh, lots of extensions to this series because it was so popular. But you don't have to get any of the extensions, but I highly recommend that you check out the DVDs because they are really, really helpful for being, honestly, a successful homeschool mom because there are times when this is all you can do. When all you can do is open up the DVD player, put the DVDs in, and close it. And Magic School Bus is one of the things that's really tricky to find online. I've Believe me, if I could find it on YouTube, I probably would just watch it on YouTube, but you can't. It's a, They religiously, religiously... Uh, make sure that this content is copyrighted and protected. So if you really want to have access to it, you got to buy the DVDs. Totally worth it! Ah, okay, I love it. So if you're interested, make sure you check out the link up above or, you know, down below or wherever it is based on where you're watching this video. I'm Tori Ann Perky, and from my homeschool to your homeschool, I bring you these videos every single week so that you can be a super successful and confident homeschool mom.